So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why I'm ditching this for this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is download the ASCOM platform. And uh, we can do that from the ASCOM website. So uh, let's have a look. And on the uh, right hand side here, just click on download. So that won't take too long, uh, 56 megabytes. Okay, and then we'll just click on it. And we'll just leave the uh, settings as default here and then click install. And yeah, that's saying that uh, it's been installed successfully. So that's good. Uh, so we can click finish on that. Okay, and um, now we'll have some uh, shortcut links to uh, the ASCOM platform. But we also need to download something called EQMod. So let's just search for EQMod. And there's the EQMod website. Downloads. And the latest release is on SourceForge. So the link that, um, <clears throat> it's a bit confusing, but the link that we need to click on is um, not the first one there. Um, it's EQ ASCOM. And then EQ ASCOM V200Q setup, this one here. We can just leave the uh, settings as default again and click next, install. And uh, we don't need to view those, so we'll click finish. Okay, so now if we click on the start button, uh, we'll see that we've got a link there to toolbox. And uh, that's needed to connect the mount to the computer. So we'll come back off there and click on to, actually, yeah, we'll click on to uh, toolbox now. And actually, um, one thing that I've uh, noticed is with Windows 10, you have to run it as administrator, otherwise it comes up in an error. And I'll just show you what I mean. So if we click on toolbox, what you need to do is um, click on register here and you'll get this error message. So you just click OK, even though it says success there. So just close that. And then you right click on toolbox, more, and then run as administrator. Now register it and success. OK. Okay, so once we've done that, we can click on to driver setup, which opens the EQMod ASCOM setup per window. And with the port number there, we need to uh, find out which uh, port the USB cable is on. So if we right click on start and then device manager, uh, go to ports, and you can see that it's on COM3 there. So we click in this box and just select COM3. Com and for site information, um, you can store uh, multiple sites. So you could have one for home. And if you've got a dark sky site, uh, you could have one for there as well. And obviously they'd have different latitudes and longitudes or uh, coordinates, in other words. So uh, from, for this instance, I'll just do a, an example 
um, uh, for the site information has a uh, home. And let's just say, uh, let's just leave the uh, settings as they are. Um, and then you just click save. So that's saved now. Uh, you, you will never have to uh, put your uh, location and longitude in or, you know, it'll never ask you for for them, um, unlike the, uh, the hand controller. And um, obviously another benefit of this uh, EQ mod is that uh, unlike the hand controller, you will never have to put the time and the date in, um, which will be, uh, yeah, which, which is quite welcome really. So uh, auto detect uh, for the mount options, that's okay. And we can leave uh, those uh, settings blank there. We don't need to select auto meridian flip um, unless you really want to. And yeah, for now, we'll just click OK on there. We can close this window and click on ASCOM Connect. Okay, and Mount position, connect error timeout. Okay, yeah, the reason for that is because we've not actually powered the mount on yet. So I'll just close that. Uh, disconnect. And I'm just gonna power the mount on. Okay, so the mount's powered on now. And uh, when we click on ASCOM connect, we can hear the uh, here that the mount's on now. Um, and we can see uh, as well, the mount position um, numbers here. So we've got the slew controls and you can change the speed of the uh, slew um, one to four there. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is download Stellarium, Windows 64 bit. And just click on there to open when done. And OK. Next, next. I just like to do a clean install. So tick all of those and then click next. And then launch Stellarium. Okay, so once we're in uh, Stellarium, we need to copy the latitude and longitude coordinates from EQ mod that we put in earlier under site settings and put them into the location uh, settings in Stellarium. We've got the uh, settings there for the latitude 14, 35 and 0. 14, 35 and 0. 1000 and then we can give this uh, location a name so we'll just type uh, home in and get location from network is fine uh, enable daylight saving time and then we can just click on add to list okay close that and as you can see in Stellarium now it says home so if we turn Stellarium off and then on again it should say home uh, when we start it. Uh, so we know that the uh, site settings are synced or synchronized and correct according to uh, and corresponding to EQ mod. Okay, so once we've done that, we can click on to configuration window and plugins. Okay, so what we need to do now is click on configure and add, and then we can select ASCOM and we'll just give the telescope a name. So we'll call it Zenith, Zenith, Zenith star 73 and choose ASCOM telescope. Click on here and then mine is an HQ, the HEQ5 Pro. You must check driver configuration before first time use. Um, yeah, it's okay. 
So properties, the device is already connected. Just click OK. And then you click on Connect. And now it's connected. OK. So let's just close this and close that. Okay, so we've got the Zenith star there. That's where the scope is, and Polaris. So if we click on two deep sky objects, and say for instance, Node's Galaxy, hold down Control on the keyboard, and then tap the number one. And you can hear the uh, telescope moving. So it's just slewing next to me. And there you go. Slewed over to the target. So, uh, yeah. An absolute game changer, really. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm really, uh, really impressed with uh, this uh, this program and the EQ mod platform, um, I, I think it's fantastic. Um, and if you want to um, park the mount up again, you can just click park to home position. And it'll go back to Polaris. Obviously you can make things a bit more accurate, but the idea of this is uh, accuracy and ease of use, really, um, compared to using the hand controller. Um, I just think this is a bit of a game changer. Just click onto the target there. And again, hold down control, press one. And you can see how accurate that is. It's, uh, yeah, really impressive. So yeah, that's the basics of uh, EQ Mod and connecting the uh, mount to your computer um, so that you can bypass the hand controller and you can just use your, your computer or laptop um, to control the mount and, uh, you know, with any planetarium program. Um, there are others, uh, but yeah, Stellarium is the one that I use, and uh, I think it's uh, it's really uh, an impressive program. So I hope you found this video useful, and um, if you did, uh, don't forget to like, and if you want to, um, you can subscribe as well. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed watching it, and uh, until next time, clear skies.